What is going on guys? My name is Zalaris and today I'm going to show you guys how to download a software to record your window screen or anything happening on your screen. It's very handy, it's free, it's easy and it's legal. So if you need one this is the perfect option. Um, now if you're going to record games I'd recommend you download Fraps because it has much better performance but unfortunately Fraps does not record your screen your window screen at least not for Windows 8 so if any of you any of you have that problem I'd recommend you just do like me and download this so the first thing you need to do is click on your internet browser from there you search OBS then this will come up open broadcaster software just click on it from there do not click on download go there on this download and go into binaries click on it and it'll just download wait your four seconds or five and it will download as you can see this is my third time downloading it because I have um, checked if it works well if it's safe and yes it works perfectly it's safe so it is definitely recommended for anybody if you have faster internet than me it'll take you two seconds and you probably all do because I have shit internet so once it's downloaded you'll just click on it and it'll use whatever zip software you have I have WinRAR which you probably all have and then you just go into the 64 folder, 64 bit folder and click extract to and choose wherever you want it to extract I'm not gonna do it because I already did that and it probably mess up my application Sorry. so you guys know what to do do that and it should appear wherever you put it I put it on my desktop so it's just there click on it and from there you will click on the OBS file see it says application so this is it click on it and there it is easy isn't it so from there you're nearly finished all you have to do is right click there and click just put your mouse over there and go into monitor capture and click on it and this should appear and then that's all you need to do and it'll capture your monitor and then there is a few settings you need to change go into settings then broadcast settings and change it from live stream to file output only because live stream would actually stream what you're recording so just put it on file output and from there you can choose where the files are saved and you can also choose a hotkey when you want to start the recording and stop it which is really handy then you can change your no thanks then you can change your video settings it'll usually just detect what you have well actually it will detect and if you're able to if your computer is able to handle it I'd recommend putting it to 60 FPS or even more but 60 is just perfect really and then there is the audio settings and all you don't really need to change that unless you want to and that's all you need to know it's really easy so yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and I hope this really helped you and if you have any questions I'll really I'll answer them as fast as I can and uh, yeah thanks for watching see ya